Welcome to my second video about the practical aspect of how to actually operate the Google Classroom. For that, I have logged in with my Gmail account and as you can see there is Google Apps over here. I click on it and there are various Google products. We have the Google Meet also and here it is, our classroom. Click on it. And you will be directed towards Google Classroom or you can also type classroom.google.com and you will be directed towards this page. Now as you can see there are no classes over here. How to add a class? For that you can see this plus sign click on it and there are two options join a class and create a class. So as a teacher we will be creating a class. Click on it. This message pops up, click on it that you have read and understood the notice and continue. So here I will create my first class as I am a commerce faculty. So I will be make, taking a class or making a class on management. And the section is the class I want to give. I will give a BCom first. My subject or the stream is commerce and I give it a room 1. And I create the class. You can create a number of classes as we have already uh, understood in my first video. You can create 100 of classes and per day 30 of them. Here I have my first management class. I will repeat my step. For that I have to go to my dashboard. You can see these three lines. Click and click on the classes. Again I got my plus sign. Click on the plus sign and create a class. Again this message. Check. Continue. And my second class is on say general knowledge. And the section is BCom again. The whole BCom. My subject is commerce and this time I give it a two room and I create my GK class. Again I will be directed towards my general knowledge class and the same step of going to my dashboard that is these three lines click on it classes and here is my dashboard. Now as you can see there are three dots in both my classes. I click on it and I have these four options that is move, edit, copy and archive. Move if I have, want to move my management class to the beginning. So I will click on to beginning and I have here now my management class and then my GK class. So you can move it according to the uh, period or the timing of your classes. Then I have the edit option as well for editing if I have done any mistake in typing or the section I can change it and then save it. Similarly I can copy the same class and archive. Archive means to delete the class. So it is not actually deleted it goes to the archive. We can see we can archive the GK class so it will be removed from here. It will ask again archive and it is removed. So again I will create the class, click on it, continue and this time I will create again a GK class for my BCom students. Subject is commerce and my room is 2 this time and I create it. This way you can edit the class also if there is any mistake you can correct it by clicking on these three dots. So again I will go to my dashboard, classes and shift this after or to the end or after my management class. So this is your dashboard here you can have 
100 of your classes that is too much for us but you can create if you want to separate the students uh, between advanced and slow learners different classes for them you can create that also now let us further understand i click on the management and this is the whole management class now as you can see there is a theme which has already been selected by google so i can select my theme also you can see at the right hand side there is select theme click on it and google has already provided me with a number of themes which i can choose from according to my subject we have english maths arts sports so for my management i will go in maths and science and i will try to choose something related to say graphs and uh, calculate click on it and you will select the class theme so this theme has been changed now we can see there are four options given here stream classwork people and grades let's understand it one by one first is the stream we are into and this is to communicate with your class to create and schedule the announcement and to respond to the student post so we will create an announcement by clicking on this share something with your class and i will give a welcome message to my class because they will be coming to my class for the first time so welcome to the students for joining or i can say welcome students for joining my google classroom now there is an option of for and i have opened the management class so by default it is management if i want to give the same message to my other classes so i can click on it so it will give the same message to two classes and to all the students it this message will be given and there is an option of post now as you can see with the post option i have an arrow down so there is post schedule and save draft so i will post this time and it is being posted so here i have a announcement to the student n number of announcements can be given like uh, you have a test tomorrow or be prepared for uh, or a surprise test this week these are certain things all the things you can give an announcement over here and a student can easily read it now how to add the students as you can see under the management it is written class code and this is the code i will enlarge it for you this is the code for my management class and every class will have a unique alphanumeric code given by google itself and what you have to do is we'll go to the people and here i have the options to add or invite a co teacher or to add a student now there are two options to add a student first is to email them every student email address have to be typed and then invitation has to be sent otherwise the other option and the easiest one is to give them this code you can whatsapp them email this code whatever means you are communicating with you can give them this code and the student will enter easily now how will the student enter your class let's see when we clicked on this plus sign in the earlier step there was an option of join class so a student will click on it and it asks for a class code and that class code will be given the class code of the management it is let me copy it and now join a class and this code and join because i have only created the class so i will not be able to join because i am a teacher so as a student what a student will do plus sign join class and type on this and join 
and that student will be able to join my management class. Let me show you with another account of mine that I have created for you. So now I will show you how a student will view it. So this is my account as a student. And again, a student will do the same steps. Go to the Google Classroom. Go to this plus sign, join class, and type my code of management and join. So now you are viewing two aspects, teacher as well as the student. So here is my student account and here is my teacher's account. And as you can see in the teacher's account people, I have Anusharma as my student. So this was about the people and the stream. Thank you so much. View the next video for further explanation.